Yes, yes, we are back with the one and only Big Sexy, Mr. Meatloaf. Um, this is objects in the rearview mirror may appear closer than they are. Um, <laughs> I love that. He <laughs> I love that he put the uh, I actually just randomly for whatever reason I don't even know why but I I did just look at my uh my side view mirror and you know they have that message on both sides of them um his uh, his song titles I mean again dashboard and 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 I do anything for love but I won't do that like I mean, again, I I talked about it before, and I I feel like I've talked about it before on a Meatloaf video, but song titles are so important. That's why, you know, a good amount of artists, they release track listings, you know, before the album even comes out, you know, just to give you an idea of what you're going to hear. And if I was just to scroll through a record store back in the day and I just picked up his album and I just saw these this these track listings, I mean <laughs> I would be intrigued. I would want to hit because objects in this rearview mirror may appear closer than they are. I mean, that's fire. That's fire. But we have an official music video. So we got some visuals. Um, I know I won't be disappointed in that category. And then we got some meatloaf singing, man. This guy has a voice of gold. Um, and he never disappoints me. So I'm ready to hear it. So let's get into it. Closest any brothers that you ever knew. It was always summer and the future called. We were ready for adventures and we wanted them all. There was so much left to dream and so much time to make it real. But I can still recall the sting of all the tears when he was gone. They said it crashed and burned I know I'll never learn Why any boy should die so young We were racing, we were soldiers of fortune We got in trouble but we sure got around There are times I think I see him peeling out of the dock I think he's right behind me now And he's getting proud But in this long Far away, oh God, it seems so very far And if life is just a highway Then the soul is just a car And objects in the rearview mirror They appear closer than they are Objects in the rearview mirror may appear closer than they are. Real quick, that's <laughs> why so sometimes I shouldn't I shouldn't react to the music video. I got so engulfed in the music video and what so clearly this song was used for a soundtrack of of a movie i i gotta watch the movie <laughs> oh my gosh that was terrible like this is so sad like i and then you got meatloaf singing behind it i mean gosh i mean this is <laughs> This is what like one of the saddest things I've ever seen and heard. Like this is, <laughs> but I, Milo sounds great. I just want to acknowledge that. But again, I got 
so caught up in the music video. I, I uh, man, okay, I'm 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 in it now. I'm in it. sun descended and the night arose I heard my father cursing everyone he knows He was dangerous and drunk and defeated And corroded by failure and envy and hate There were endless winters and the dreams would freeze Nowhere to hide and no leaves on the trees And my father's eyes were blank as he hit me again and again Again. I know I still believe it never let me leave I had to run away alone So many threats and fears, so many wasted years Before my life became my own I'm sitting here like just <laughs> I'm sitting here just staring at it like this is genuinely a movie or like a narration like I'm just sitting here watching a movie <laughs> and I so I do get the theme I get the theme you know uh it all it keeps referring to things in your past and you know things you know you you, you're so far removed from them but in all actuality i i do get the thing you keep talking about how far away something is and talking about previous stories and things that he's been through and how they um he keeps referring to the road 
uh what are you saying if life is a highway the car is the soul i get i, I get where he's going with it i do <sighs> and i'm starting to question if this is a a movie soundtrack and this is the actual music video and if meatloaf is talking about himself here but we'll do song research but to his voice it's amazing i, I mean that's not to be questioned anymore but I'm so engrossed in the story. Like, I, I want to know what's going on right now. And if life is just a highway, then the soul is just a car. And objects in the rearview mirror, they appear closer than they are. And objects in the rearview mirror, they appear closer than they are. The objects in the rearview mirror, they appear closer than they are. Objects in the rearview mirror, they appear closer than they are. And objects in the rearview mirror, they appear closer than they are. Objects in the rearview mirror may appear closer than they are. Objects in the rearview mirror may appear closer than they are. Okay, I'm sorry. We got to go straight to... We got to figure this out. Was Milo just talking about himself just now? Hold on. Did he, did he have a brother that, like... Hold on. No. We got to figure this out. I'm sorry. We got to figure it out. It's a song composed, written by Jim Steinman, and recorded by Meatloaf. The song was released in 1994 as the third single from the Bat Out of Hell 2, Back Into Hell, and reached number 38 on the U.S.'s Billboard Hot 100, number 26 on the U.K. Top 40. With its chart success, the song became a hit with the longest unbracketed title at 52 characters as of 2007. Yeah, like that again, that song title, because of how long it is and you know, the whole thing. Um yeah. I could I, I, I'm surprised that's even a record like in regards to like records that they keep track of, but I could definitely see that. Okay, hold on. It's a three-part narrative centered upon the season summer winter and spring time described the singer as haunted by three pushy ghosts a friend a father and a law and a lost love obviously you have the first verse oh so that's a friend i thought it was like his brother but okay that was a friend the second verse was definitely about the father the third verse was definitely about a, a lover definitely um is inspiration from the uh from the singer's often tragic childhood oh so this was about meatloaf i it, yo it was so good i thought it was from a movie Oh my gosh, it's about meatloaf. Wait, real quick, I'm sorry. 
we we gotta we gotta I, I never really delve into the to the personal lives i think outside of maybe elvis um of course johnny cash i really don't get into the personal lives of, of these artists you know I, I try to keep it as objective and about the music as possible but obviously when you have somebody like meatloaf who I mean, he put so much of himself in his music, it's kind of impossible not to talk about his personal life, right? I mean, every song is about something in his personal life. So, just real quick, let, let me see something here. He was born in Dallas. Okay. When he was born, his father said he looked like nine pounds of ground chunk and convinced the hospital staff to put the name Meats on his crib. He was later called ML in, re in reference to his initials. He also attributed the nickname to an incident where after he stepped on the football coach's foot, the coach yelled, get off my foot, you hunk of meatloaf. Gotcha. His father was an alcoholic who went on drinking binges for days at a time. Which started when he was medically discharged from the U.S. Army. Wow. Wow, he was there for the JFK assassination. Played football, defensive tackle. Oh, no. When Meatloaf was 19, his mother died from cancer and his father... Barely missed when trying to stab him with a knife, falsely accusing him of having girls in his bedroom. He used the inheritance he received from his mother's death to rent an apartment in Dallas and isolated himself for three and a half months until a friend found him. He intentionally gained 60 pounds to fail his physical exam examination for the Vietnam War draft. Oh my gosh. This just made me so sad. Wow, he suffered from Social anxiety. Oh, wow. I, I don't think I could read much more. Um, okay. That just depressed me a little bit. Kind of ruined my mood a little bit. Yeah, I, I I don't have no more words for this one. God bless and God rest the soul of Meatloaf. That his story is a, a very tragic, beautiful, beautiful life and beautiful story. But that it, boy, yeah, yeah, I I think I read too much. We we gonna wrap this up. I'm sorry that that depressed me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but great song. Fitting to, to meet Loaf, his voice was incredible, meaning, story, everything about it was phenomenal. And um, that's that's what I got on that. That's, that's what I got on that. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time with the great Meat Loaf. Peace.